Um, okay, so let's get into the US dollar. Very busy head of day with plenty going on in the market. Um, ISM services PMI will be important um, as well as the um, October jobs report, uh, which will be the highlight. Um, in my mind coming into today, from a personal perspective, I think Fed tighten expect expectations um, are too low. Um, so I've been thrown off course with the um, narrative in the market with regards to um, uh, the Federal Reserve earlier this week and, and well, the narrative um, whereby the market has embraced a, a dovish sentiment around um, the um, outcome of that meeting. Um, I mean, there was a dovish narrative taken from it. Um, comments from Powell um, seemed a bit lopsided dovish. But when you look at the the GDP, um, the, the economy is growing well above trend um, and the rest of the world is slipping into recession. So we've had a number of hot data that would, I would argue, needs further tightening. Um, and I think that needs to be acknowledged. So maybe the data today will tip us more towards um, the reality of the situation. Um, if not, then that narrative around um, a dovish um a dovish perception on, on the Fed will likely continue to weigh on the dollar. So let's have a look. Perhaps the risks are more tilted in favor of the dollar, considering how much it's been stripped of its title into today's uh, data. So pretty key and it should set the scene for next week as well. So besides that, um, let's flip over to the chart. Um, but specifically with the data, we're looking for so besides that, um, with regards to the data, average hourly earnings monthly and yearly will be key. Um, and it's not just the headline that we'll be looking at and the unemployment rate. So without further ado, let's just get into the chart. I'm going to start with the weekly scenario. We've been talking about this for plenty of time. Um, we've got this long-term trend in place. We have um, a consolidation phase acting out as we come up into um, this area over here that is indeed uh, playing its role as a supply area but that's not to say that we can't pop higher but of course there is the um, perception in in this price action that we're failing to move continue up okay so that's what we're dealing with on a longer term basis when we come into the daily chart um, we can see that the dollar is attempting to move higher, but failing. So we've had this impulse that essentially broke all of this resistance structure on the inside of the consolidation. So there was the resistance that we broke up and we've come back down and we've moved back up we've come back down so there's no real bias one way or the other although that this could still prove to be a strong low so bullish still bullish big drop to the downside continuation of that sell-off from the fed and a bit of basing here going on market not sure what to do in this inside bar so far sideways could go up, could go down, depending on the outcome of the data to date. So I'm neutral really at the moment, but I think we're set up for a drive higher if the data proves in line with what we've been seeing. And that could 
um, put the uh, dollar back on top. So could be a pivotal day. And if that is the case, then we've got all of these shorts that are going to feel heat, the gap to feel pretty un in, out of balance, this market with that gap. Um, the drive lower that's been met with uncertainty, perhaps um, perhaps the, uh, the highs of the week could come under pressure. And then we've got that 108 target to the upside eventually, if this market's gonna finally break out of this consolidation. On the flip side, we're looking for a continuation to the downside. If that were to eventuate still, we've got an M formation that will be formed on the chart and any drives lower, I think will be met with um, support and prospects of a drive back up into the neckline at least. So I'm not sure that the dollar can be sold off significantly um, unless we get a disastrous outcome out of the data, um, which puts the US economy back in line with the rest of the world. Questions of recession um, in play and certainly the, uh, the Federal Reserve wanting to keep the brakes on. So that's where we're at longer term. And then if we just... Um, well, what we can do is mark off the areas of interest on this daily chart. Now, turn, put this on pause while I do that. Right, so this is the, the box that we are working within. Okay, so let's mark that off. This is the box that we're working in currently. So the bottom third of it is below the lows over here. In fact, I'll put that as a potential support. Looks quite significant. So we're coming down to test that at the moment. So take note of these levels to the downside and these levels to the upside that guard an ultimate target. Not necessarily today. Um, if we look at the average true range of this index, it's around about 60 three points, 64 points. So far on the day, it's an inside day of yesterday's range heading towards the lows of yesterday. And we've done about 34 points. If we were to say, come down into the lows, and let's say there was an almighty turnaround, it would put yesterday's highs into focus in line with the ATR, the average tree range, the index has moved over the last 21 days coming up to target 106.50. Beyond there, which is quite feasible, you've got these levels to the upside that we can look to. To the contrary, if that is the high of the day and we are gonna continue lower, then 60 points takes us down into 105.50 and that extreme, we've got last week's lows down at 105.40-ish. Last week's lows, well, this week's, this week's lows, sorry, bear with me, where are we in the week? Yeah, last week's, Monday's lows. Okay. Um, and that also marries up with last month's low. So potential target here on the downside if the narrative stays bearish US dollar that's the key target and bullish then we're looking to squeeze these shorts from this week at least 106.50 up into the breakout area towards 107.70 106.70 we are on the week Day one, day two shorts, day three potential correction would be in line with the day count. Day one, day two, day three for a short squeeze. Okay, and we are now uh, 
if that's right, 40 minutes away from non-farm payrolls. So best of luck.